There hasn't been any Texas-sized hangover for Oklahoma coach Bob Stoops. In the game following the annual meeting with the Longhorns, Stoops is a perfect 14-0 with an average winning margin of 27 points. The Sooners visit Kansas today. Today marks a unique event in Evanston, Illinois, when Minnesota visits Northwestern. A peanut-free day at Ryan Field. Like my dad said, for the first time, a college football venue will be completely peanut-free for a game. Northwestern is starting this event to raise awareness to the potentially fatal allergy to peanuts that 3 million people have, including myself. Thanks to Coach Fitzgerald and the Wildcats. So today, on ESPN2, hail purple and hold the peanuts. Hey, that was pretty, pretty good. Yeah? Well, maybe I should just keep going. When Florida visits Columbia today to face Missouri, it will be the farthest north the Gators have played in 22 years. Since that trip to Syracuse in 1991, the Gators have played an amazing 70% of the regular season games in their home state. Hashtag karma. That was the tweet from Jen Bielema in September after her husband's former Wisconsin team lost a controversial game at Arizona State. Since the treat, Brett Bielema's Arkansas club has lost four straight and then is number one Alabama today. Make that hashtag five straight losses. Okay, Chesney, that's enough. I don't want you taking my job. <sighs> Finally, on Sunday night on ESPN, when the BCS rankings are released, keep in mind that in 13 of the past 15 seasons, either the number one or number two ranked team in the initial poll reached the BCS title game. However, only twice, Texas USC in 2005 and Alabama LSU in 2011, did the number one and number two ranked teams in the initial poll both reach the BCS title game. How'd they do? 